What's up you guys? Welcome to another video. I'm really excited to be filming this today because as you guys already know I'm doing a high school advice slash Q&A and the last time I did a high school advice video was so long ago probably like two years ago when i was first starting out my channel two years later i wanted to do it again i announced that i was doing this video on my instagram story and i asked for some questions and so today i'm gonna be answering some of them and i'm really thankful that a lot of you guys actually had similar questions i'm probably gonna be able to get through a lot of the different topics that people wanted me to talk about but yeah if you guys aren't following me on instagram you guys should because i do post a lot of my stories announcements on like future videos or when I post videos, when I'm doing giveaways and random other things. Anyways, I really want this video to be very casual and relaxed. I just want to chit chat with you guys and talk to you as if I'm your friend. And you know, I am your friend. I've come to realize that a lot of my viewers are a lot younger, whether you're in elementary, middle school, high school, maybe coming into college. I have a wide range of ages as my audience and so I want to be able to address some of the concerns that my younger audience might have. The most frequently asked question that I got is how to manage school, sports, a job, social life, all that sort of stuff. I think I've definitely talked about time management a lot on my channel, just with like the Q and A's and stuff, but number one thing is just to know your priorities and know what you wanna put first, what you wanna put second, and that way you know like what you should invest the most time into. For me in high school, my main priorities were always school, volleyball, and student government. Those were like the three things that I really put all my time into. It's really important to just establish those things. I think it's best to be involved in one or two things and invest more time into those things rather than, you know, kind of spreading yourself thin, joining five different clubs and being on two different sports teams and joining student government. It's just all about knowing yourself and knowing how much you can actually tackle. How to make friends and how to find your friend group. I think one of the biggest tips that I have for this is to just get involved in school. It helps you meet people who already have the same interests in you and so that might spark up a friendship. My best friends were definitely my volleyball teammates and also the people who I did student government with. Just spending all those extra hours at practice, at games, tournaments, all the event planning, all the leadership classes that just helped me bond with people who number one have the same interests as me and number two have like the same sort of goals as me and I think that's one thing that really helps a friendship last is when you have something to kind of hold you guys together but yeah other than that I feel like making friends shouldn't be something that you should stress over because it should happen pretty organically. Friends will come and go. You might not stay friends with all the people who you met your freshman year and that's something that I've definitely learned and understand and am like willing to accept but trust me if you just be yourself those friends will come eventually. Thoughts on relationships in high school? Oh I got a lot a lot of questions on this and I guess people want to know like my opinion what I think about being in a relationship in high school and personally I don't see anything wrong with being in a relationship you know in high school you're really young you're entering high school at around what like age 14 15 uh 14 I think and the years that you spend in high school are like your prime years to just grow up and mature and so I don't think anyone should actually be actively looking to be in a relationship you shouldn't feel like you need a boyfriend or you need a girlfriend in order to be happy because there are so many other things in high school that you have to worry about it's more important to focus on school focus on the friendships because those are the things that are going to last and really make an impact in your life however I'm not against relationships I was actually in a relationship for most of my high school years not in the same relationship but in different ones and from each relationship I've learned different things I learned more about myself and how to treat other people how to communicate so important though to just keep yourself in check and make sure you don't get so caught up in a relationship if you go through a heartbreak or whatnot it's not gonna be the end of the world and don't let any guy or girl try to convince you that your world's over because it is just starting <laughs> how to survive AP classes I hope everyone understands that you do not need to just fully stack your schedule with AP classes of course if you like to challenge yourself and you can take on all that responsibility and studying and the hours that it's gonna take to pass those classes, then definitely go do it. AP classes are gonna benefit you in college because those credits are gonna count towards your college courses and that can ultimately save you time and money. But for me, like knowing myself, I was never the greatest student and so I just knew. Like I couldn't handle taking all these AP classes. I actually only took, I think, three AP classes? Compared to the other students at my high school at least, that was not very much. I'd much rather, you know, set myself up for success and take AP classes where I think I can handle them. How to deal with fake friends. You don't. How to deal with toxic people. Again, you don't. If someone is having a negative impact in your life, you do not need them to be a part of it. Ugh. Your friends should be the type of people who are there for you when you need them. If you're going through a hard breakup, 
having that person to be there for you and to support you in whatever you decide to do is so important. I know a lot of high schools are probably really big and you're gonna run into a lot of different people, but it's important to try to filter through and find the genuine good people out there who are gonna better you, who have the same sort of goals as you, who have, you know, the same aspirations as you. Well, okay, you don't have to have the same exact goals, but at least having them as a friend makes a positive impact in your life, in your outlook on certain things and yeah, it's not a bad thing to cut people out of your life if, you know, they're not doing you any good. People will come into your life for a reason and people will leave for a reason. And so that's that's just what it is. That's the fact of the matter. How to stay organized. I would like to consider myself a relatively organized person, um, but I do get overwhelmed. So I think, you know, keeping a planner is number one, super important. And number two, having like a calendar where you write out all your events, all your assignments, all your test dates, and just like other things, practice times, tournaments, whatever for me it really helps to have something physically written down that i can see and can refer back to as far as keeping like school supplies and your binder all organized i'm honestly really bad at this because i'll start off the semester being super organized keeping all my papers in one folder and having everything like nicely arranged as the school year progresses things kind of just get jumbled and so i highly recommend to just establish a good organization system at the beginning of the school year and just keep at it just make sure it's maintainable and not too over the top you don't have to be obsessive when it comes to organization it's just you know whatever works for you how to stop caring about what other people think okay this is something that i am still trying to work on people are bound to have their opinions and they may say it to your face and they may not they might just talk amongst other people and that is life that happens in middle school that happens in high school that happens in college and that happens for the rest of your life other people's opinions really shouldn't matter what matters is how you let that affect you if you hear about some drama and someone spreading rumors about you or whatnot whether or not you want to confront them about that is your choice but if you let that get the best of you and you you know turn into a bad person and you do the same exact thing to them then that's that's not cool i was actually just talking about this with my sister the other day and she shared a quote with me about opinions and other people's judgment it reads opinion is really the lowest form of human knowledge it requires no accountability no understanding the highest form of knowledge is empathy for it requires us to suspend our egos and live in another's world it requires profound purpose larger than the self kind of understanding and this really spoke to me i've read this over and over so many times people's opinions are inevitable they're unavoidable whether you hear it or not um, it's all up to you and how you let it affect you don't be the person who feels the need to share their opinion constantly especially if it's a negative one about someone else that's like when things get really catty and drama starts to happen so I would highly recommend avoiding that especially in high school because it's so not worth it how to deal with senioritis oh boy senioritis is definitely a real thing if you don't know what it is basically it's like the term that people use to explain what seniors feel on their last year you know you've already been through three years of this you're kind of just like whatever i can chill out now it's my last year and so you kind of just start slacking off but anyways it's a real thing inevitable i went through it i even went through like junioritis sophomoreitis freshmanitis it's a struggle you just have to remind yourself that senior year does matter colleges do have the option of you know rescinding your acceptance if you know you don't make grades senior year is your final stretch of course there's a lot of fun things going on basically time for celebration but you gotta remember to finish strong and then you can have fun later on what do I miss most about high school? I think the thing that I miss most is just being able to hang out with my friends literally every single day and not even have to plan for it. Like getting to eat lunch together every day or getting to hang out after school every day. The fact that all your friends are in the same vicinity as you and you didn't even have to plan for it, you're all there for school. Now, like in college and now that I'm back home for breaks and stuff, everyone in my life has different things going on, whether they're working a job or they're on vacation or, you know, they have other friends to hang out with. It's more of a struggle now to make time to hang out with people who I was once able to hang out with every single day. And so yeah, in high school, just do not take those moments for granted. Later in life, it's just gonna get so much harder once people get real jobs and start families. It's just like, it's crazy to think about. How to choose the right college for you. Definitely just start doing your research early. Try to find colleges that offer the major or the thing that you want to study. Also take into consideration like the location of the school, whether you want to live in state, out of state, in your hometown or 3,000 miles away. Also school size. So whether you want to go to like a private school or a big public school, it's really important to start this kind of early. Maybe start looking your junior year. Um, just so you have a general list of schools that you might want to start applying for senior year. When should I start applying for colleges? Generally, I would say people start 
actually applying and sending in applications that fall semester of their senior year. I'm sure there are people out there who start, you know, that summer before senior year, but I wouldn't stress too, too much. I think junior year should be focused mainly on, you know, your test scores and your grades, starting research on colleges, and then senior year is when you actually start applying for them and narrowing down your options. Advice for freshmen. Definitely ease yourself into things. Don't try to take on too much at once. High school is very much different from middle school. You're not really babied around anymore. You have to kind of fend for yourself. Some teachers in high school might not provide as much help as you once received in middle school. Just like easing yourself into things and just kind of getting a feel for the school, especially with the fact that a majority of the students above you are older and already have experience being in high school. Another thing is just to be yourself. Don't try to be someone you're not. I love the quote that says, your vibe attracts your tribe. Who you are as a person is going to just naturally attract those good people that you wanna be friends with and also get involved. I think that's a really, really important thing. I'm really happy that I joined student government. It taught me a lot of things about you know, having a leadership position. I think it was cool being a representative of my class and just being able to, you know, be a voice of the student body. And on top of that, you know, it helped me meet some of my best friends from high school, so. Okay, and last but not least, this question is kind of funny. On a scale of one to 10, how does high school compare to high school musical? <clears throat> well, high school musical is definitely just a glorified version of what we expect high school to be. And let me just tell you that Real high school is not like high school musical because number one, boys are not as cute as Troy Bolton, let me tell you that. Number two, people don't break out into song and dance on lunch tables and you know, everything is not just dandy like that all the time. Drama is very much real in high school. It might not be exaggerated as, you know, Sharpay trying along and being catty and whatever. That doesn't mean that girls aren't vicious. They might not be exactly like Sharpay Evans, but they're out there. I think cliques in high school are definitely a thing. People have their select friend groups and people can be pretty exclusive when it comes to that. You guys can't trust everything that you see on TV. So no, High School Musical does not compare to real life high school, but some aspects of it, I guess do ring true. All right, you guys, so those are gonna be all the questions that I answered for today's video. I didn't get to answer everything because I got a lot of responses, but for the most part, I think I covered pretty much all the things that most people were asking. If you guys have any other questions or concerns or comments, whatever, definitely leave them down below. I'm gonna try my best to respond to a lot of them. We can all just learn from each other down in the comments, so definitely go ahead and do that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I can do more of these Q and A's if you would like. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'm most likely going to be posting all my stories asking for your guys' questions, so. Don't miss out on that. But yeah, overall, high school is just a short period of your life. It may seem like a really long four years, but it's gonna go by really, really fast and it's really important that you make the most out of it. Live for yourself, find those good people, and try your best to care less about what irrelevant and negative people have to say about you. But yeah, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.